morning students myself mrs nairashi your english one teacher has come up with a new lesson video students you might be excited to learn the new poem that we are going to be learning now our poem's name is six honest serving men when i use the word honest h is silent in that word students that's why we don't hear the word h the alphabet h is not audible so we pronounce it as honest and not honest we we'll now begin with our lesson students this is a very interesting poem the poems the poet's name is rudyard kipling it's written giving a tribute to the, a child's curiosity students you might have seen many children have questions in their minds as to why is it cold now when will it rain where is daddy gone there are many questions in a child's mind like yours in the same curiosity of the children that help them learn a lot of things in their childhood which help them after they grow up so let's see this video our first stanza i keep six honest serving men they taught me all i know their names are what and why and when and how and where and who so in this stanza students the poet displays he goes on speaking about the six honest serving men now who are these six honest serving men students correct they are what and why and when how and where and who these words have been given the human quality of living as a human being so it is called a pers personified words the six honest serving men have taught the poet a lot of things these question words have been personified and given them the human quality of being a person these six servants have been helping giving a lot of information a lot of answers to the poet our second stanza i send them over land and sea and send them over east and west but after they have worked for me i give them all rest now students before we move towards our second stanza i'll give you an information about this the six honor serving men go everywhere all around the world to help the poet get answers but after the poet has got all the information from the six honor serving men he gives them every one all rest as the poet is become big now he has answers to all the questions that were going on in his mind earlier our next stanza students i let them rest from 9 till 5 for i am busy then as well as breakfast lunch and tea for they are hungry men so what is this stanza about students this stanza tells us that we must have noticed that if you have uh, your parents at home who are working they go out generally from 9 in the morning to 5 in the evening where do they go yes they go to their own workplaces their general working times are from 9 am to 5 pm so as the poet is also at work he cannot take the help of the six honest serving men and humorously the poet says i feel hungry and thirsty and i have my breakfast so in the same way the poet also thinks of giving the six honest serving men complete rest that they require from 9 am to 5 pm the poet tries to tell us that we are growing up students we tend to ask less questions compared to our younger brothers or younger sisters the students who have younger siblings that's younger brothers and younger sisters will notice this more often that their younger sisters and brothers ask more questions comparatively to them 
That's because as we grow up, we tend to get busier. Our life becomes more busy and due to which we don't ask many questions. Our next stanza students now. Different people, but folks have different views. I know a small person. She keeps 10 million serving men who get no rest at all. So in this stanza, the poet tells us that different people have different views. Everyone has a different thinking, a different way to look forward towards life. And the poet knows of one small person, that's one small little child, in who in a very beautiful way gives us the information that she has 10 million serving men. That means so many questions into her mind that go on floating that they don't get rest at all. The questions never stop. They continue and continue. With this, we can understand that small children ask many questions. Our last stanza students now. She sends them abroad on her own affairs. From the second, she opens her eyes. One million hows, two million wares, and seven million wives. From the time that the small little child wakes up students till she goes back to sleep, she has innumerable questions to ask. Small children generally have many questions to ask as they have a lot of curiosity in them. In short students, the poet is trying to tell us that even after we grow, we must not let the curiosity within us to reduce. Students, I hope you have understood this lesson that I just explained to you. It is a very nice poem. Please go through that again and please see that you learn all these poems by heart. I hope you have understood the lesson, student. Students, please copy down the poem into your notebook with the drawings. I would now request everyone to kindly subscribe to our channel to avail further notifications. Thank you and have a nice day.